hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful coin purse you can make in different colors with different yarn if you use thin meat yarn you can just uh, downsize the hook okay from the recommended hook size on the yarn label you just go one two numbers to get a tight and stiff stitch like you can take a small hook so that you can get this tight stitches okay and a stiff like a material okay and it's nice and easy button up and you have this two pockets here okay you can use it nice and deep you can make it a small size okay it depends totally up to you it's nice small you can just keep it in your purse okay the big one which you're carrying and you'll have your coins there or you can even put your credit card in this and it will stay nicely okay so for this i use this yarn from ganga acro wool desire okay it's an 100 percent acrylic yarn for medium weight okay the hook it was 6.5 okay so i went the hook is 4.5 so you can see the hook size was 6.5 i went just two numbers down and used 4.5 to get the stiffness for the purse okay then i use this button okay i wanted a big button for the yarn is little bit thicker if yarn is thinner you can use a smaller button it totally depends on you or you can use big button whichever you like you'll need some stitch markers yarn needle sewing or thread and needle for the button okay scissors and measuring tape for measuring our work okay so with these things let's get started so we are going to keep a long tail maybe 12 inches okay we are going to use this tail for sewing it and i'll show you how we are going to use that so just keep a long 12 to 13 inch tail okay and then make a slip knot place it on the hook and now we are going to chain 51 plus 1 so you can chain any number that is divisible by 3 you can divide it by 3 sections okay equal 3 sections so you take any number of chains you take it has to be divided by 3 so that we can use it for folding okay so i'm going to chain 51 plus 1 that is 52 chains and i'll be right back here now once you have your 52 chain okay you're going to go in the back arm folding okay we are working in the back arm if you can't you can just work in the chain one loop of the chain okay in the back arm okay from the hook in the second chain skip the first one and in the second one we are going to make the single crochet single crochet in the next and single crochet all the way till the end so these are the back humps you can see here okay we are working in that so make sure that when you're chaining chain a little loosely not very tight so that you can see the hump okay if the chain is loose you get the hump very easily if the chains are too tight it is not a cool idea to work in the back hump okay so it's better keep loose tension and work in the back hump like this now till the end okay and i'll see you there
so once you finish the row chain one and turn and we are going to work single crochet rows from now on okay till you get if you are using different yarn from mine then you're going to work till you get three and a half inches okay of a panel height okay from here you're going to measure now this long tail which we have it can be sometimes annoying so i'm just going to fold it in half and then make a slip knot here like this and now it's short and it is easy over here to move okay and then continue putting single crochet all the way till and back and forth for a total number of 14 rows so now we are on the second row we're going to put 12 rows more after this second row is finished you're going to put 12 rows more and then you're going to continue the next part with me once we have finished this part okay so go ahead finish your panel of three and a half inches or 14 rows if you are using for medium weight yarn okay and i'll see you soon don't worry of this curl which is there don't worry if you get it it's totally okay because we are using a smaller hook so it tends to curl but once we go ahead with this panel it will straighten up and it will be a very solid firm one okay see you can see the firmness yeah because we are using a smaller hook so go ahead work your panel and i'll be right back here okay see here i finish my three and a half inches okay so it's three and a half here and that's enough for me so if you want you can just put one more row extra okay now here i told you at the starting you have to get a number of chain which can be divided by three so we had 51 stitches so it divided by three gives us 17 each okay so i have put stitch marker at the 17th stitch to know that this is the partition okay so now we are going forward we are going to make the overlap that closes okay now we are going to work only in the 17 stitches okay so we are going to start from here with single crochet till the stitch marker okay now we are working only the 17 stitches okay So here is my 17th stitch so I stopped here then chain one turn and we are going to put three more rounds of single crochet so this is the uh, sorry three more rows of single crochet so this is the first row now two more rows of just single crochet okay so this is the second one I am we're going to, to put two more so all together it will be four rows of single crochet okay so go ahead and put four rows of single crochet meet me back here and we'll do the next part so here i finished my room now we are going to turn over i did my chain one okay don't forget that now we are going to decrease at the start and at the end and single crochet in between so how's the decrease going to work is we are going to insert our hook in the first stitch here 
pull the yarn okay in the next stitch grab the yarn and pull it out you will have three loops pull through all three and that is the decrease so we decrease two stitches together now we'll single crochet in all the next stitches till we have two stitches left at the end okay single crochet in between and at the start and the at the end we are decreasing for this round uh, sorry for this row so here i have two stitches left so i'm going to decrease pull the loop from one pull the loop from next pull to all three and that's the decrease and then we are going to chain one turn over okay now we are going to repeat the same decrease at the start and at the end decrease and then single crochet now after you finish you chain one and turn and for this row also we are going to decrease so we have done decrease for two rows now third row decrease at the start single crochet in between And after you decrease at the end, chain one and turn. Now we are going to decrease again at the start, decrease, then single crochet. and then decrease at the last okay chain one and turn now for this row we are going to create the loop for the button okay to create the hole for the button so we have done one uh, one two three four rows of decrease and then for the fifth row we are going to create the loop so first we always start with the decrease then single crochet then chain three one two three and skip three one two three single crochet in the next okay chain three skip three single crochet in the next and then at last is the decrease chain one okay so here what we have done we have done a decrease then single crochet then chain three skip three single crochet and last is the decrease chain one and turn now this first two stitches we are going to decrease decrease here now in this chain three space we are going to put three single crochet just go into the space and put three single crochet two and three okay and then decrease the last two stitches just like that okay now we continue our decrease chain one and turn decrease two we have one single crochet in between so single crochet decrease the last two chain one and turn now we have three stitches left for at the last now what we are going to do is we are going to decrease the all the three stitches 
together so we will pull three loops one two and three loops so this time we'll have four loops on a hook and we'll pull through all two close and then chain one pull the yarn high and that is done for us okay that's the top part okay which is going to fold it out now grab the scissor snip the yarn and pull it out and it's done okay okay now we are going to do is so this tail okay so we are going to go the other side the inside side so this is going to be outside this will be the inside so we are going to go here and this here so pull it to her tight just try to weave in the end couple of times if you need you can go one row down and even weave in the ends here And when you're done, just take the scissors, snip the yarn, and it's done. So we have done this. Now next part. The next part, what we need to do is weave in this part over here. Okay. Now before weaving, I need you to do one thing. Grab a piece of yarn. Any color will work. Now this is the back side this is where we uh, this is the 17th stitch so we need to fold it like this so we come to know where we are supposed to stitch this part okay so when this part comes here we are supposed to stitch it here at this place so we are just going to fold it like this okay this way make it it uh, as straight as you can okay sorry i missed a stitch so add the stitch marker this stitch okay and now just going to take the yarn okay and pass it through like this so that I know just marks and keeps an eye for me so I think I will leave here because this is the part so I have to do is before that. Here. Here I come out. Okay, and just leave the yarn over there. Okay. So this is the part where we have to be careful this is the fold it will be so now we are going to take our this we're going to open the knot now this is the reason i said keep a long tail because we are going to use it for sewing in okay so fold it over here add this and here Now this is where you are going to sew in here this last stitch 
and this okay and then just rip stitch here So this line tells us we have not to cross it while sewing so we don't run accidentally in the space of other fold okay so that's why it really helps to know where you have to put your needle okay when it is one color or any color it really helps if you're fine without the color it's totally great but for me I like the indication now I'm going to just take out the stitch marker here and when I reach up my last stitch and this stitch where we put the stitch marker I'm going to sew in that just Two, three times okay now if you I have a tail remaining you can go back again uh, just weave in the tail here back again okay and this stitches over here you can just weave in the tail over here and it's done okay done snip the excess and you can take out just pull it out and it's done take out the stitch marker and we have got the fold okay now we are going to fold it back like this okay and we are going to sew in from here till this part here all over here so now you need to take the piece of yarn a different one okay just thread it take a long piece make a slip knot now make sure that your work is folded nicely this is the starting here okay so you should be weaving in from here okay just go in like this stop where your slip knot comes pass your needle through it and here you're done and now we are just going to rip stitch and join just pull it a little harder so it tightens up not very hard okay closes nicely and just weave in Now when you reach at the bottom, you are going to take all the stitches from here and the stitch from here, okay. So you'll have three, one, two and three. At the corner, I'll go two times, 
just to make it secure and now all three panels whipped together just give it a little tug okay so that it gets pulled and cinched nicely So here I've finished. Okay, so you can go more if you want. Just pass through till you finish the yarn. Okay, oh, that's enough for you. Then just weave in the tail and it's done. And then we'll do the next part. Okay, I'll just finish this and I'll be right back. So here I finish. Can you imagine I just made back through where I started with the yarn I had left. Okay, so I'm just going to weave in here at the back of the purse. Just grab some stitches. So here I finish weaving in all the tails. I think fiber coin purse, isn't it lovely? And we have the three folds. One, two, and three folds. And we have two pockets here. So beautiful. Okay. You can just put all your coins, your cards, even the money whatever you like okay so now for the closure let's put the button on so you're going to get your button and see where it is going the here okay because we are going to need to pass it through and get it out here okay so here it is good so i'm going to put it here so two four five six and the seventh and eighth row down from up here okay now you're going to take your sewing needle place it in the middle okay make sure it is in the middle and just weave in the button okay the way you find it easy and once you have attached the button you're done and good to go and just button it up you can decorate it however you want okay and isn't it very handy and very beautiful what do you say what do you have to say it here we have our coin purse ready so i hope you have fun with me i had so much fun making one of this and i'm going to make more i'm pretty much sure because this is going to go in one of my gifts for christmas gifting so that's a great one you know the all the girls all the ladies they're going to love it you can make them in their favorite color and i'm pretty much sure they're going to love that okay so i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share it among and share among your other crafty friends so till next time with something new and something fun till then Take care and bye-bye.